Hey everyone, welcome to the fourth uh, lesson in the in the blues series. Um, this lick is a Steve Ray Vaughan inspired type of number. Um, it just came from me jamming around with Texas Flood. So I thought we'll do something in this shape. Um, so I'll play the riff over and then we'll, we'll break it down so it's... So we're starting off with that classic like blues. Now, if you've been around pentatonic shapes and blues for a while, you probably know this this intro a bit already. But if not, welcome to it. I'm sure you'll be using it for years to come. So it's um, so we're starting on the third fret on the G string, and then we're going to the fifth fret. And as we land on that fifth fret, we're doing a micro bend. So we want to kind of so we're not bending up to the the seventh fret it's like you know like a, a quick so we're going three five then as you bend in there uh, your index finger comes under and we play um, the B and the E third fret and then we catch the sixth fret on the B and then as we land on that we're sliding up to the eighth so and then as you're landing on the 8 with the slide, your index finger comes back down to catch the 6th fret on the, same, on the B again. So and then what we're going to do in the spirit of sliding, we'll slide, uh, I mean you can do it from wherever really because we're not actually, the note that we're sliding from it doesn't really matter what it is. We just want to end up on the 5th fret on the G string so you see so you could do it from doesn't really matter where you do it from but this is again it's it's a really fleeting note because we're going to pull off so we're going to go so five three open g string and then whilst that open g strings ringing we'll land on the fifth fret on the d and then with our index finger jump back up to the third fret on the g string and then we finish on the 5th fret on the D string so that's yeah so a cool little um, Stevie type of, type of lick I mean I'm a big fan of this So, um, yeah, you know, experiment with that one. This is another cool type of lick where, you know, you're playing quite low down. And then, it, you know, you immediately got that leeway to kind of run up the neck and, um, you know, go an octave higher and um, all that sort of fun. Um, I'll get into that in later lessons anyway, but for now, enjoy this one. Drop me a comment if there's kind of any specific artist type of lick that you, you want me to cover. Um, and, yeah, cheers, guys.